Hello friends, in the last lesson we learnt about what is a set, how to represent it, what is a subset and what is a universal set. In this lesson we are going to learn about the Venn diagram and the union operation of two sets. Since we have been using a rectangle, circle and ovals to understand the relation between different sets, these diagrams are called Venn diagrams. It is the best way to visualize the relationship between the sets. So this set of real numbers R which has a set of whole numbers W is represented like this. A big rectangle representing universal set R containing a circle W representing the set of whole numbers. Consider a set of positive even numbers starting from 2. Let us call this set as set E. So E is a subset of set of whole numbers W. You can say set of even numbers E is a subset of whole numbers W. So we draw the subset E as a small green color circle inside the circle W. Now consider another set F which has multiples of 5 starting from 5 numbers like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 and so on. So how do we represent these two sets? Let us have two circles one representing set of even numbers E and other representing the set of multiples of 5 which is set F. They both are part of the universal set R and we draw some overlapping part between the two circles. So those two circles are near to each other and we draw some overlapping part between common between the two circles because few numbers like 10, 20, 30 are even numbers as well as multiples of 5. So they represent the overlapping area. To reiterate we express it like this two circles intersect each other the common part of the circle contains the elements which are even numbers and also the multiple of 5. This includes number like 10, 20, 30 and so on and the leftover part of the left circle represent the rest of the even numbers but not multiples of 5. This includes number like 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14 and so on and the leftover part of the right circle are the numbers which are multiples of 5 but not even numbers. This includes numbers like 5, 15, 25 and so on. Now this entire diagram in dark red represent a set which contains whole numbers which are either even number or divisible by 5 or both and that set is called union of set E and set F. We write it like this set E union F. It means all elements of E union F either belongs to E or belongs to F or both. E union F is equal to set of elements X such that X belongs to E or X belongs to F. Let us understand this with an example. Say set A has elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and set B has 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15. So A union B would have elements of both the sets that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Look 3 is common in both the sets so when we write A union B we will write it only once because A union B is also a set and a set should have all the elements as unique. So the final answer A union B will be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Let's take another example. Set A has elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and set B has 0, 2, 4 and 6. So A union B would have elements of both the sets. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Look 2 and 4 are common in both the sets. So when we write A union B we will write them once only because A union B is a set and all the elements of a set are unique. 
so union of two sets a and b is represented as a union b union is a symbol similar to u so union of two sets a and b is a set that contains all the elements of a as well as all the elements of set b just ensure all the elements are unique you don't write the same element twice that's all for now bye bye